Viewers, this video is about my sinus surgery. The timelines are above so that you can skip to the parts that you are interested in. So, the full procedure was called Full House FES, which stands for Endoscopic Sinus Surgery. Together with that, we also did turbinate reduction and septoplasty. Now, my symptoms prior to the surgery included hay fever, which is one of the main ones at the time that I know of, because I was trying to control it for a number of years um, with steroid sprays, steroid nasal sprays, antihistamines, and none of that resolved it consistently. Now, number two is I was constantly sick. I was coughing, I was sneezing, and I just didn't look very right all the time, which during COVID is not very great, because if you're working or studying, and you're potentially exposing people who are immunocompromised or can be severely affected if you have the virus, um, it's not going to be very good. Now, this translates to me missing out important lessons or classes at uni and missing out on money from not working just because of this. Now, the other one is post-nasal drip, which if you look it up is very yucky stuff. Um, the next one is very dry mouth and throat, which I tried to resolve with drinking lots of water, but it doesn't ever resolve it. I also snored, and I was waking up very fatigued, and sometimes I would even wake up feeling short of breath. And during the day, when I would talk to someone, I'd almost feel short of breath talking to them. After having enough of this... I went to another GP, different from the one who just kept giving me antihistamines. This new GP referred me to an ENT, which I would have never even considered of going to, because I didn't know of them at the time. Now, I'm going to display the details of my ENT specialist up here. This surgeon, Dr. Ui, Dr. Ui, he is very professional. He is very accommodating for all the questions that I had and he took the time to explain things which made this experience a lot easier than I expected. So I agreed to have the surgery done and here is the recovery stage. Day one. So after surgery I went to recovery room asleep for three or four hours and I woke up like this. I don't remember much of it, but I was told that the surgery went a lot longer than expected as my sinuses were completely blocked up and they had to remove quite a bit. Um, it was very hard to breathe because of the clotting and the stents in my nose. It was a lot harder compared to prior to the surgery. My pain wasn't really there because of the drugs. My nose kept bleeding through the gauze. So they've had to change it quite often. I was instructed not to lay down and try not to exert any effort in anything. So just relax. And apparently my beloved mother um, has been in the hospital for more than four hours. And I barely remember seeing her. And by this time I was brought into the ward to my bed. It was already nighttime, so all I wanted to do was sleep, but I couldn't because I couldn't breathe through my nose. And I was starting to have pain in my throat because I had a tube in my throat for a lot longer than expected. And I believe they've also had to suction and sometimes it gets the um, uvula. So that's the part that hurts the most. So day two, if this picture looks like it hurts, that's because it did. My uvula and my soft palate was very sore, and as you can see, it's very swollen. And basically anything, any movement that I do with my mouth causes me pain. And that's together with lots of painkillers. My nose was also still bleeding a lot, and it was clotting, and I still had the stent. So yes, day two wasn't really much of an improvement. Now, the significance of day two is this is when Dr. Uwe uh, followed up with me and checked up with me. He was supposed to check me up the night 
of the surgery, but um, I was still recovering, so he couldn't do that. So basically, he's just uh, made sure I was okay and explained to me what the precautions are and what to do. And yeah, he sent me home with some painkillers and some gauzes, and yeah, that was it. Now, day three, my nose was clearing up so I can breathe better, but my soft palate was still burning. And I forgot to mention that from day two, when I was sent home, I was instructed to do some nasal flushes uh, four times a day. I'll show you a video of that later at the end of the video. And also at this point, I was getting a mild headache. So we've got day four, my nose is bleeding a lot less. My throat hurts less, but my headache was getting to the worst point. Um, so I'd say day three and day four are probably the worst point points of the recovery. Um, but from this point on, it gets a lot better um, day by day after this. Um, up until to the point of a week later where my stents can get removed. And by the way, if um, you're going through this recovery after surgery, that thick clotting um, starts to decrease. And But it will still be there um, even two weeks after, but just a lot less. So it's uh, quite normal, so don't be alarmed. As long as your surgeon is happy with it, you're good. So basically, I'm just going to show you what comes in. So we're just going to lead over and breathe through your mouth so you don't end up having water coming, coming out of the wall of red. Here we go. So that's the left. So, a week later after the surgery, we're back with Dr. Ui for the follow-up and removal of the stent. And this part here, he's removing the stent from my left nostril. Now these stents here, they uh, keep your nasal cavity from being obstructed by blood clots and ensuring that you can breathe through your nose during the recovery. And as you can tell, it may make you cry if you're going through this. It certainly made me cry. And then here he's going on the right side. It's not the most comfortable feeling, but it's not too bad. They obviously will spray some numbing agent prior to the procedure. So, yeah. So from this point on, I've had another follow-up with Dr. Ui up until two weeks later and then from then on until complete recovery everything has gone smoothly the pain has gone really quickly and i could breathe and it's it's almost sad how much of my life i've missed out on being able to breathe properly through through my nose and now that i can breathe and actually feel my lungs be filled with a lot of oxygen just by breathing in through my nose, it makes you feel very good. And I've, I've felt very good from this point on. And it's just, I'm shocked. So all in all, I would recommend this uh, surgery. And yeah, to anyone else who's considering this surgery, all the best, um, it's definitely worth it. And thank you for watching.